hey loves welcome back to my channel and welcome to another hair review um you, i know you guys probably like confused like girl why you already got the wig on and stuff like that y'all it's not late or anything yet um i actually was just measuring it out and stuff like that and you guys already seen like the process it takes me to like actually get it to my head because i actually do want to try two different things today um for the install the first thing is i do want to try out these new scissors that i got um they're like they're they're like these like wavy they're like these wavy little scissors um i mean i've seen other people use them before but like i don't know one day i seen this tiktok and it kind of like she made me like okay let me go ahead and actually order it so i want to try that out because i know we can use like scissors or like the eyebrow razor and stuff like that to actually get like a jagged look but i just feel like this would just make it a tad bit more i don't know like simpler and have more so like a jagged look and also we're going to be trying out the yeah my eyes is watering i just did my makeup and i am tearing the freak up but i'm gonna go ahead and um try out the forever ultimate glue lace holding glue and this one is actually with the extreme firm um hold i think it has the two four five it's the five cross one and this is how i look like i got the small one because just in case i don't like it because i keep buying products that i don't like use and stuff like that but this is how it looks like so i want to go ahead and use this and combine of um with their spray do i even have it here yeah i kind of want to use it in combination with these two so that's what we're going to be doing and i just wanted to skip this part because you guys already know how i install my wig so this is going to be more so on how the products work less so about me installing because you guys have a good handful amount of you know um wig tutorials and stuff like that so they're all very repetitive so i don't think i need to keep telling you guys how you know to install it but if you guys did want to know i did go in with my ruby kisses cream of nature and i'm actually trying the level 16 instead of the 15 just to see because sometimes my lace do look a tad bit light um too light when i do like don't have makeup on and more so it's kind of like depending on what lighting it's in because sometimes in different lightings it does look good but in certain lightings it don't so i just want to try a shade darker just to see if that would kind of be better and I actually already went in and I um, plucked the front of my hair. I didn't pluck too much. And even though this is like a brown color, I still did go in and actually bleach the knots. Um, because the knots are still a little bit dark and I wanted them to be a little bit less dark so it can blend better with my, to blend better with my, you know, um, to have just more so like a seamless look. So I am going to go in with regular scissors just to cut off the, you know, ear tabs. You guys have seen me do a lot of reviews um, with you nice hair and you guys, their lace quality is always like A1, which I really love. And this wig is no different. Like their lace is always like, top notch like you guys can see i didn't even do anything from for it yet and they already look like really blended and stuff so this is going to be a really like nice install um i'm debating if i want to actually cut the hair the lace off first and then glue it down because normally i would just split in split, split it in sections and actually you know um spray underneath and then cut the lace but i think i actually do want to cut the lace first and then ow okay i'm gonna try to get as close to it as possible that's how it look like it looks very jagged now um i'm not sure if i need to cut off now it is a little bit hard for me jesus now it is a little bit hard for me to actually see when i am like you know trying to cut it because the scissor is so big i mean if anything you can get one that's smaller but this one is very like heavy duty which which is why i liked it but at the same time it's a little bit hard for you to cut the lace off of your head. Okay. 
because essentially the less lace the better honestly we probably could even wear this glueless if we really wanted to because yeah this is without any glue and this is just with me cutting it which is crazy okay so now that's done i'm gonna go in with uh some wet wipes just to go ahead and take a little bit of the makeup off of my hairline so it doesn't really interfere with like the glue because i actually really want to see how it works without like you know all the extra like you know stuff that's underneath it because makeup does have contained oil it does contain oil and stuff like that and i don't want that to be a factor of why you know it's not sticking how it's supposed to so i'm just cleaning off my hairline okay I'm going to go in with a little bit of the glue because um, I'm going to use the glue more so as like a... Oh, you guys, it's very like... I don't know if you guys can see, but it's very oh, slimy. It's very slimy. It kind of reminds me of the gods to be a little bit, but I'm only going to be using a little bit and I'm just going to be passing it on the perimeter of my head because I'm gonna pair this with the um I'm gonna pair this with their um with the spray with the yellow can spray just to see if that helps it like you know last even longer because this can by itself already lasts pretty long y'all like this is very slimy but like I was saying, like, the spray already lasts a good, like, me so far. I mean, the longest that I kept it was about, like, two or three days, which is pretty good, at, um, especially since it's, like, a spray. Where I'm going to use this again, but it's going to be more so, like, a spot treatment when I finish laying all the ways. And then now I'm going to go ahead and spray, spray my hair. Ah! Mm. Jesus just all up in my ear okay maybe don't spray so much like I did okay so it feels like really tacky so I'm gonna go ahead and just Start laying the wig down. I actually do want to show you guys how I'm gonna fix these little ridges as you guys see because I want everything to look blended you know so what I am going to be doing is I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you guys how I'm gonna you know make it look very like seamless and like so you guys don't see any type of ridges like you guys can see right now so let me go ahead and pin my hair back Okay. put it on the perimeters and this is just so it could have like an extra melt in a sense so 
and I'm actually using the level 16. I normally use the 15, but I actually wanted to try a shade darker just to see if um, that will stop. Because sometimes in different lightings, my lace do look a tad bit white. So I want to try a level, you know, darker to see if that's the case. So after I go ahead and I just, you know, apply some of the um, cream foundation on, on the lace, I'm going to go ahead and actually spray it with the even... Um, the original one and this one is in the extra hold in the yellow can and now we're actually going to use make sure you guys have like a wig band on hand so you can go ahead and use that and I want my hair to be completely out of my face because we are going to be you know laying everything down So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray everywhere. Try, try to avoid like your actual hair and just aim mainly for the lace. But be very careful if you are wearing makeup. So I'm going to go ahead with a wig band and this one just happens to be from Unice Hair. And I'm going to go ahead and actually lay her down. And I'm actually going to let her sit for about like 5 to 10 minutes just so the lace um the lace spray can actually you know melt into the hair so we're gonna give her five to ten minutes and then we'll be back right, you guys so it's been about five to ten minutes more so like ten minutes so now i'm gonna go ahead and take off the band be careful with this part because um a lot of these bands they get stuck with the lace and like especially if you have makeup on which is what it kind of did a little bit but it's okay. Just make sure you just be careful. Now I'm gonna actually go in with a wet wipe. Yeah, I've just been using this, um, a makeup remover, just to clean off the white residue because sometimes it does leave a little bit of white residue. So I'm gonna go ahead and just clean around it. You can either use a wet wipe or you can go ahead and just use some alcohol with a napkin, um, and just tap on those little areas and those little areas should just you know start to disappear this is how it's looking like as you guys can see it's more melted she's giving like she's giving melted like don't play with her but my baby hairs are very simple um I don't like the dramatic like you know baby hairs like I used to anymore I kind of like the um four baby hairs in total two right here and then two on the sideburns and that's it I don't really like the little middle baby hair anymore I mean maybe sometimes like depending on the style but as in for this one because I am going to do like a little cute little maybe like a little sleek back type of look or maybe like a half up half down I'm not sure yet but right now we're just going to go ahead and focus on just primarily just the baby hairs
All right, you guys, so I'm not sure how I actually want to style my hair. I just finished my baby hairs. They took a little, like, longer than I wanted them to, but they're completed. But I don't know if I want to do a half up, half down like this. I know you guys seen this style before, but I don't know if I want to do this or if I want to do this half up and down. Because I really love this look. So let me actually go ahead and hot comb do this as best as I can. I actually don't want this to look too, too perfect. I kind of want it to look like it's like a lazy, like I lazily put this up in a bun, um, but I still want the like hair to be a little bit tame. So I'm gonna go in with some wax stick just to tame some of the hairs. That I see in front of me right now. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead. Again, I can easily just leave it like this, but I already done so many styles like that before, and I can still recreate it with this look that I'm about to show you guys. I just happened to see a girl do it. So basically what I did was I just took, I acted like I was gonna put it through the loop, but then I stopped halfway. And what I want to create is this, like it's like I wanna do like a little, shell type of thing but it's actually gonna fall on the hair and I want to actually pull more hair through so it can be really loose and this is kind of how she had it and I just thought it was so freaking cute the way that she you know did it oh my y'all I actually turned on my AC because it was a little hot and y'all I was not about to die for this video so I actually did turn on the AC so I'm sorry if it's a little bit too too loud for you guys but um this is how we're looking like and I'm loving it already I'm gonna kind of put some um water on it not too much because I don't want this to like be weighed down I actually like the you know bigness of it you guys know I love my you know I love my curly hair is really like you know big and voluptuous so I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit of water on it just to tame the top but the bottom I don't really care to tame it too much add too too much water but the curls are somewhat more defined which is what I wanted and when I put everything like this, and this is how she is looking. This is the final look. Like, y'all, I am in love with literally everything in this style. Like, I am, like, I love this so freaking much. Good thing I used the, um, this, this, um, new extreme firm the even um glue i want to see how long it holds because i really want this style to last a little bit longer um but yeah i'm in love with like the lace like y'all can't tell me this isn't like my hair is stop playing with me um i love the color and i also really love this soft low texture that it has um it screams summer like these type of curl patterns like they've been screaming like you know um summer to me and also like this cute little like you know half up half down type situation um i really kind of really love this it's like a flirty type of look especially with this dress that i have on um if i do happen to take pictures i'll probably post it somewhere on here just so you guys can actually see how it looks like 
side but you can try to make this stay up if you want it to be up this way but me personally i kind of like it the down way it makes it look a little bit more like effortless like i just slapped it on top of my head um just to give it that cute little look but again this hair is from unice hair y'all already know like when it comes to unice hair their lace never like their 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 lace never miss like i love their freaking laces um the hair is bomb this is a 24 inch all the information about this unit will be linked in the description bar down below so go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested in a unit similar to this or if you guys are interested on in creating like a look similar to this um let me know what you guys think about this style and this color in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you less in my next one bye